Hey there! Have you seen these really interesting and colorful word clouds that different technology products are proposing these days? Let me show you how to make a word cloud with WooClap. It's quick and easy, and it can help to make your trainings, class sessions, and meetings a lot more interactive and dynamic. You don't have a WooClap account? No problem. You can go to our website and create one for free. Once you're logged into WooClap, you'll be in the main interface of your account. Simply create a new event by clicking Create Event. We recommend you change the name of your event, but don't worry, you can always change it again later. And I'm also going to personalize the event code over here on the right. I'm gonna call this event Summer Vacay and click the checkbox to save. Now, to add a word cloud to your event, you'll wanna click on New Question. This window will pop up all of WooClap's question types. Word cloud is over here. I'm gonna enter in my question. Where did you go on summer vacation? On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a number of different settings that you can choose to toggle on or off for your event. For example, you can choose to limit the total number of characters that your participants can enter. You can allow them to submit multiple answers or not. And you can also toggle a moderation feature, which will prevent any answers from being displayed until you, the presenter, have approved them. I'm not gonna turn that one on today though. You can also allow your participants to like other answers. And you can even set a timer on the question, which will lock the voting and stop your participants from submitting answers after a certain amount of time. For this question, I'm gonna set up the timer for 30 seconds. Once you're finished setting up your word cloud, click save at the bottom of your screen. Now, when you're ready to present your question either in person or virtually, you can click on the display button next to the how to participate bar at the top of your event. The connection instructions for your event will appear on the screen. Your participants can either scan the QR code with their mobile device, or they can go to our website, whoopclap.com, and enter the event code, which appears on the right-hand side of the screen. I've personalized this event code so it says Summer Vacay. You'll see a button on the bottom right of the screen with an image of a group and a number next to it. This number indicates how many of your participants are connected to the event. In order to display your question, simply click on the arrow at the right of the screen or on the right of your keyboard. Now we see the question displayed with a 30 second timer running on the bottom of the screen. As your participants answer the question, their responses will be displayed in large colorful letters. If any responses get submitted multiple times, those words will appear larger than the others. If you like, you can also toggle the view of the answers in different ways. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can choose the results grid view, which will display the answers in blocks, or the results list that displays them in a single column list. I prefer the word cloud. I find it really colorful and playful. And there you have it. It's that easy to make a word cloud on WooClap. We hope that this video was helpful and we'll see you again next time.